Hello everyone, welcome back to my 4-star academic YouTube channel. So in this series, we are going to talk about the Flutter. So we have already finished our uh, data programming series last week. So if you haven't checked out my data programming series for the beginner, so feel free to reach out my channel page and there is a data programming series. And this week we are going to talk more about the flutter so if it's your first time watching my video so please subscribe to my channel and i will keep uploading the content every week and in today's lesson we will uh, talk about how you can set up the environment for flutter development so first we'll give you a quick introduction and then i will tell i will teach you how can how you can install the flutter sdk and then I will uh, show you how you can set up your own emulator bow uh, in iOS or as well as the Android. And the last will uh, guide you through how you can download the editor for uh, Flutter coding. So without further ado, let's get started. This is Flutter official website. And in their website, you can see here is a quick introduction about what is Flutter. So Flutter is Google's UI toolkit for building a beautiful natively compiled applications for mobile, web, desktop, and embedded devices from a single code base. And you can use it for fast development because it supports the hard reload. So every time you change the code, uh, the UI in the emulator will automatically refresh and also by default it suppose it suppose the material design a widget so you you don't need to you can custom you can customize your widget based on the, those material widget and also a flutter incorporate all the critical platform differences uh, such as like a scrolling navigation icons and fonts and and your Flutter code is compiled to native ARM machine code, so using Dart's native compilers. First, we're going to install the Flutter SDK. So just click the dock in their menu, so you'll be uh, direct to the Flutter documentation. So here we just click the get started. And based on your operating system, here I would uh, show you how you can install Flutter uh, SDK using Mac OS. And I will also mention what's the step and differences between Mac and OS and Windows. The rest step will be the same. So here, uh, the first, you, the system requirements for install this Flutter SDK uh, would be uh, Mac OS is, uh, 46 bit and 2.8 uh, gigabyte for the test basis. And also you need to have like a git install uh, before. So we, uh, there is two ways you can install the git. First, if you uh, install the Xcode, the git will uh, include in, inside this one. So how you can install the Xcode, you just open the app store in Mac OS and just type the Xcode. So you will find the first one will be uh, the one we need to uh, install. Uh, we must install because we uh, using we may using the iOS emulator. So if you haven't installed Esco, you won't able to run this uh, iOS emulator uh, in your device. So just click uh, install for this Esco. And another approach would be you go to the Git official website called, and you see here is an uh, option you can download Git. And there is three options. First, you can uh, download using a uh, homebrew, and also you, uh, if you uh, install the uh, Xcode, the key will be included inside. It. And and the third one would be just uh, download the installer. So homebrew, what is the homebrew? Homebrew is just a uh, like a package management for Mac OS. So uh, before you can use the homebrew, you just copy this slide of the uh, scrap into your terminal and just paste it and 
click enter so you will uh, install this homebrew uh, for you since I already installed the homebrew so I'm not going to show here so after you install homebrew uh, you just run this command homebrew uh, brew install git then the git will be successful installed and then we go back to the official documentation and after we finish those prerequisite and we will go to install the Flutter SDK this step for download a Flutter SDK will be quite straightforward you just follow the same steps show in their official document first we going to download this Flutter macOS stable.zip so we click it the Chrome will start to download and during this time we open our finder you may not see the, the same file structure like me so what you need to do is you go to your finder on the top left corner and you click the finder and you choose the preferences and in the preferences in here there is a new finder windows show option so you just need to check it and to what is your name so when you finish like this and every time you open your finder it will show the same file structure like me so in here i will create another folder called developer right so i uh, i just wait until the flutter uh, zip uh, finish so and i will yeah it finish i just move the zip folder and here and unzipped inside this developer folder okay when you finish you just move this uh, unused file to charge then we are good to go so we finish the step two uh, the next one we're going to update this flutter uh, tool to our parts environment part so uh, before we update our uh, flutter part so if i running the command here uh, you will say the command not found so we need to add this flutter tool to our part and if we follow the command uh, shown here so this line of command only set our uh, part variable for the currently terminal windows only so the next time we will open a new terminal so the flutter command will still didn't find so what we're going to do is we will check this line to permanently add the flutter to your part see after update your part we will click this one and we follow the same step show here so first we need to check uh, which shell you are going to use so there is two type of shell so you just run this command to check uh, which shell you're using and here we're using zip shell right and there is a bash shell and a zip shell if you are bash shell so you open this file and set up your environment part so if you are zip shell you just open this one so here uh, since we are using Z shell so we just type the command open uh, dash t and tilde and slash dot z s h r c so and we hit enter so by default you will open uh, this text editor and show our uh, our all the configuration about this uh, z shell and we just need to uh, paste this line of code and at the top of but we need to change this one to uh, the flutter uh, the one we already we, we install this one so you just in here you double click the flutter uh, under this developer folder and you click double click the fl uh, flutter and the bin folder and you right click and click this get info right so you you will see here we will get the part so you just right uh, copy this part and you just paste it here so you just paste here right so here you see our part will be updated to users razor will, will be my name and developer and flutter dot bin so after you you hit you hit uh, command plus s will be saved so you save you can also click this one 
uh, saved, right? And you close it. Close one, close this one, and also close this one. After that, we need to run another command. So it's called source uh, tilde uh, slash dot zsh rc. So we source this file, uh, which is similar like a refresh. And after that, we run the flutter command. So it's able to find our like a flutter tool. Yeah, we did it. So the next one, uh, every time we open the terminal again, so and you run this Flutter version, you still can find find your command, right? So you just type Flutter. You will still find your Flutter and SQLSDR. Okay, so the next one we are going to uh, talk about is the the Windows. How you can uh, set up the Flutter SDK using the Windows. So here I find another blog uh, guide you through how you can install Flutter SDK in Windows uh, in a detailed way. So you can just follow uh, this step and you are able to uh, run the Flutter command in your Windows, Windows as well. Yeah, I will put this blog uh, in my uh, description, video description below. So feel free to check out if you are uh, using uh, Windows. So back uh, uh, back to our uh, agenda. So so next I'm going to show you how you can create your own emulator for uh, developer those Flutter app uh, either for iOS and Android. So first I'm going to open my Xcode. So when you open your ESCO and go to the menu from the laptop bar, laptop bar and you will see here is uh, open Dev tool and you just open this simulator. So when you click it, you will show and by default it will give you iPhone 12 Pro Max and you could either change it to any, any type, just go to this file and click this open simulator and they have a uh, different options you can create like any type of uh, emulator you want so okay i'm going to uh, quit my emulator and next i'm going to show how you can create your android emulator uh, first you need to go to uh, the android studio official website to download these uh, Android Studio. So you just click this download button and you will, uh, you will start to download. I have already uh, finished uh, the install the Android Studio. So it's uh, quite straightforward. And so here I will show you how I create this virtual uh, Android device. So when you first time open this Android Studio, so you go to config and you click this LVD manager. So it means like a Android virtual device, right? So you see I have already created one before, so I delete it and so I will create it together. So uh, there is a button say create virtual device and I hit it and I just run and check this piece of four and create next, hit next and I select the default one would be API 30 and hit next. So I just hit finish. Yeah, it's very straightforward. And after you finish the configuration, I you just hit this launch this LED button. So you you hit this one, and you will pop up your Android simulator. So uh, first time you will take you like a few minutes to boot out this form. So the second time it will be much faster. So we just wait a few minutes to let this emulator like a setup. So as you can see, our emulator for Android was ready. Okay, so we finished uh, set up our iOS emulator and as well as the Android emulator. So the next one we are going to talk about is how you can set up your coding environment and for a developer those uh, flutter application and here uh, 
I recommend using Visual Studio Code because uh, you can customize and also install lots of the plugin and it's very lightweight and pretty fast and it's easy for debug and so how to download we just open the Visual Studio Code official website and based on uh, your uh, platform and choose the design uh, uh, installation bundle so after you finish you just unzip it and it's, the process will be pretty straightforward so when you finish and you open you will show something like this so for the easy develop for the flutter application so you need to go to this extension market and search for this uh, flutter plugin and you just install and also another one I install would be this one is awesome flutter snap it and it just uh, faster you can just write down a few lines of like a letter so if you just write down this one it will default create this uh, status widget for you don't worry if you didn't know what status widget and step widget we will talk about like in the next video okay I think that's all for today's lesson so we uh, give you a great a brief introduction and I uh, told you uh, how to install the Flutter SDK and uh, also uh, how to uh, set up our uh, e simulator both for iOS and Android so that's all for today's lesson so thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to my channel and I will continue uploading the uh, Flutter series see you next time